Wow, we have a quick interruption as a reminder that this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com, a space for artists to develop their brand and build out their marketing infrastructure with ongoing mentorship to actually grow their fan base. And if you're specifically interested in TikTok consultation and guidance, then you can check out BrandManNetwork.com slash TikTok. Let's get back into it. Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Sean and I am back with Trey Little, you guys might remember Trey Little as the artist who went from zero to 100K followers on TikTok in one month. And I did him as my very first interview with an artist as a part of the How to Get Famous on TikTok series that I have, right? And he's had a lot of interesting things that he's happened not only in that interview, but since then, because that interview has seemingly been so long ago because so much can happen in one week on TikTok, let alone three and four weeks. So about a month later from that first time we talked, he has some other things that we can talk about, just an update on your life in general. I want to let you kind of share what that's been like on TikTok. But then also we're talking about how to get paid on TikTok because Trey is already getting paid on TikTok. I want you guys to get an idea of what that experience is like, how you can um, possibly look to monetize TikTok and just how big and easy the opportunity might be in comparison in comparison to other platforms. So, uh, hey, without further ado, we're back. Trey, I appreciate you hopping on again. Sure, man. Hey, man, tell me, man, give me an idea. We were already talking about this before a little bit, but how has your life changed? What has it been like? You know, you, you, you touched on being recognized more than usual and things like that. What's it been like? So the crazy thing is um, when I go places now, like I feel like, you you know, I'm almost expecting or like looking for some high schooler or middle schooler to like notice me from, you know, TikTok and then their parents to be like, wait, you know this guy? You know, it went from me like having the little um, amount of recognition that I have from year after year after year of touring and playing so many shows. Um, TikTok has almost like put me in front of people's phones every day because of the page called the For You page, which is TikTok's Discover page. So everywhere I go now in public, like if I see a high schooler or a middle schooler, um, they're almost like, and then I stand out because of my hair, because of what I wear. Like they're like, oh, I've seen you on a For You page before. So um, that's been like one of the biggest things, actually having people recognize me. And then when I go do events now, like if I play a, a built-in crowd with like two to 400 people or whatever, um, a lot of people will be like, okay, who's this guy? Like, hurry up and try to impress us. But now it's like, oh my gosh, we've seen this guy before. Like the last event I did, it was like uh, 400 kids, like middle schoolers. And when I stepped on stage, people were like, oh, this is the guy from TikTok. This is the guy from TikTok. And for me, it kind of caught me off guard because I was like, oh, my gosh, man, this platform is really impacting my career on a practical level. So, um, yeah, man, I love what you said in terms of the career impacting you on a practical level. I mean, even from the standpoint of it sounds like it's making shows easier because when you think about the fact that, look, like when, when you don't have to introduce yourself, right, people already recognize you and yeah. you don't have to get over that hump of, who is this guy? And there's somebody, even if I don't know who you are and there's other people like, yo, this person is here. I'm, and, and you see other people shocked and happy to see you. That's mm -hmm. still going to make me more receptive to understand. Like, yo, maybe this is somebody I need to get to know. So it's, it's cool to see that you keep having these encounters. Cause I, I remember seeing some of your videos uh, as well, like on IG, like running into like fans and stuff like that. In the yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. It's cool to see the rise. Yeah. Sweet, man. Thank you. So, Tell me about the money. Let's get to that part, right? Um, like, I think you were on for how long before you made money? Um, so I think once you, so once you hit like your first thousand followers, that's when you can actually go live and monetize. So before I really made anything, I think it was like a month or something like that. So it was a month of me being on before people actually was able to start like really donating. Um, and because like the first thousand followers, they're not really going to donate that much, you know what I mean? Because there's not enough people. But once I think I hit like 20K or something like that, uh, the donations like picked up, you know? What is that like? Like, what do, you, what do you do to get donations? So what I try to do is I try not to, I try not to monetize like uh, right away. I try to do things that are organic and stuff like that to make people want to give, but I'll go live and I'll like basically start talking on live and just start like, 
telling my story or the, one of the most um, impactful things that I've seen is when I start playing my music like live in a studio or if I'm making music and I set up my phone and go live and I just start freestyling or something like that. Like people love those kind of videos when they get to see you in action recording where they get to see you actually rapping live and they get to see it. Um, they get to see it like for themselves and it's like happening in real time, you know? So that's what make people want to donate to whether you like dance or you talk or even if I've done like motivational, like, yo man, let me tell you my story and encourage people and ask me questions. Um, and then, or sometimes I'll put it in the caption, like send gifts, you know, like when you go live, you can kind of put the title of the video and I'll do like a quotation, send gifts or something like that. And then people just start donating um, these little coins and then the coins translate to actual money. Man, I mean, the, the beauty of what you just said, right? There's so much we can unpack from that, but just the behind the scenes part and you're getting paid to show people behind the scenes of your music. Right? Yeah, yeah. But, like we already talk about that from a branding standpoint and what that can do. But in the same way, we might say, hey, you need to get some subscribers and an email list and all these things so then you can monetize and show this package or do a Patreon or any of these things. You're essentially able to do that by just going live, right? And once you go live, you're telling me that they're interested and appreciate you being in the studio and just doing that stuff enough that they're, they're donating. So that's, that's cool, bro. What, what was that even like when you first like, went, realized that and went through that? Um, so the cool thing, it was like seeing that people start donating. And one of the most exciting things for me is like when people donate, like some of the biggest prizes. So some of the biggest prizes goes up. So whenever people donate, like a, you are rich or something like that, you are very rich. I think it's like $20 or something like that, or $10. And, um, cause oh, the coin, snap, I've seen that before. I thought that was just like a weird spammer saying something like that in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like when they donate like big prizes and then it does cool stuff like you can donate concert and you got the little things like Panda and different little small like little packages they can donate. But once they donate like the big ones, it does something cool on the screen. So like if they do concert, there's these little characters that roll across the screen with guitars and start playing and then a the whole screen start lighting up and it make you feel kind of like, whoa, this is pretty dope, you know. Um, so mm. it's like a good feeling, man, because it's like me being a full-time artist man like year after year it's like i have to sell merch i have to do shows and the, the pressure is on you know what i mean so like anytime i can get any extra donation like it makes me feel really like encouraged like okay this is working because it's scary you know what i mean when you step out and you got bills to pay um especially me having a, a family like it's like okay i have to make sure i'm i'm, I'm being strategic and meeting my deadline of x amount of dollars i need to make so TikTok is starting to finally convert into like, okay, if I need to make X amount of dollars per month to pay rent or whatever, like, um, it goes towards it. You know what I mean? It's like big chunks that I can actually put towards it that I don't have to go out and do somewhere else. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like driving Uber or something like that. Like it helps wow. so I, I can stay at my house and like do what I, you know, do what I love to do, you know? Dope, man. I mean, especially when you think about it as with that replacement of income where you were talking about extra money on the side and stuff like that, I hadn't even thought about it like that yet um but the first check back when you sent me right uh money right and, or, or showing me like how much you had made was 50 dollars mm -hmm. right what was um what was it like well when you when you see people are paying right because this is interesting it sounds very similar to twitch and how do things pop up i haven't even experienced that part because i don't get on people's lives um j just yet i haven't had the time but did you feel like you had to do anything super extra? Like, were you, were you nervous when, when it came to asking for the donations initially? What, what was that? What did that feel like? Um, I wasn't nervous at first because I realized that some people actually have money, like, saved up on their account just to, like, give to some people that they want to support. Especially mm. when I start telling a story of, like, why I do what I do. Like, when I start telling people my story, hey, you know, I stay at home with my son and, like, you know, I, I dived head first into music and this is what I do. This is how I pay the bills. Like, and I don't ask for anything. I'm just like telling my story. Like, this is, this is how long I've been doing it. And people want to feel like they're supporting you. So like, I have one person who consistently donates, like, you know, uh, like one of my followers, Madeline, like she always jumps on my live and she's just like, donate, 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 donate. And there's like all these coins. And I'm like, man, why do you donate so much? And she's just like, I really believe in what you do and I just want to be like, I'm glad I get to be a part of it by donating. And she's from Sweden. She literally lives in Sweden. You know what I mean? Like, and she's Dude, just you like, got a I super fan, a legit super fan. Yeah. 
and the thing is like once you make that connection with the people they feel inclined to donate um and the crazy thing is like it is coins so when people donate coins it can be like five dollars and then because tiktok take half it can go down to two so when you right. see people donating a lot and then they do those big donations that's when it start converting like like i think i i got on live a couple more times and hit like 75 dollars um and it like jumped up from 50 to like 75 just by going live like another once or twice and then one of the best things is like when i get a video that really starts trending like my video that hit a, a million and 1.7 million views um my followers literally just started going crazy right that's when mm -hmm. i went from 50,000 followers to 100,000 they literally just was one viral video and then i went on live and i literally had 160 people at a, at a time jumping on and off and then when i finished up the live video it was like they said it was 5400 people in that live it was over 5000 people total and me being mm. on live in a span of like 3 hours and i was just like this is crazy so um i think the more that like you get like a video that's going viral and once you see it going viral you jump on live and then people just start donating because you have so many more people in front of you and once you start telling your story that's when it just you know mm. interesting man and I think it's important to note, I've said this in one of my first TikTok tutorial videos, but yeah, TikTok does take half, right? Um, it's, it's 50%. But I don't know. I want to get your opinion as the artist, because I know so many people when it comes to so many things that people do in the, in the, in the industry, whether it's a manager or whatever company, the percentage, the percentage, the percentage, and you don't like giving, you know, splitting that percentage with anybody, you want to own everything. What is your perception yeah. of this, though? Do you think about this the same, or is this more just like, yo, this is dope that I can even make this? Yeah, because um, one of the biggest things is, like, I know I wouldn't be making that money either way. Like, if it wasn't for TikTok providing a platform, it's like, like, a lot of times, yeah, half of it seems like a big cut, but when you think about I wouldn't be making this either way, that's when it gets better. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, so it's like, yeah, I can make a hundred dollars from going live and they might have took a hundred from that, but that's another hundred dollars that I get to make just from sitting in my house telling my story, you know. Mm. And that happened yeah. all in a month's time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Already. yeah. It's a huge echo where you're at right now. Oh, my bad, my bad. My bad, man. Let me move because I um I was trying to go somewhere quiet, but you know, all right. it's that reverb. All right, can you hear me better now or is it still? I'm about the same. All right, hold on, let me see. Let me go somewhere else. My bad. I like didn't have those. Um, my AirPods, AirPods went out. So yeah, I got you. That's yeah, that's better. I'll say something again. Okay, check one. Do you hear me? Yeah, it's not as bad as the the uh, place you just left. It's a little bit, but not as bad. Um, okay, you know what? Let me let me go outside. My bad. My bad. All right. All right. Let me just step out here. All right. All right. Say All right. What's good? Here. Oh yeah. Here. All right. Yeah, um, let me see what we just talked about. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> so obviously, money is a real thing on this platform. Um, there's been a lot of interesting opportunities as far as how it's actually converted over into real life. Have you gotten to a point where you've pushed it over to streams and work to do that yet? Okay, that's a that's another big thing that's really helped a lot because um, what I've noticed is I've heard other people that I followed on TikTok go online and they talk about, yo, my YouTube has went up and my Spotify, but my numbers really didn't peak when I hit like 20K. Like I still was like kind of going steady. But once I started getting a couple viral videos, things started to spike on other platforms. So for instance, um, I finally hit the requirement to monetize on YouTube. Um, once I monetized on YouTube, like any video I basically monetize gets you know what i mean a certain amount of money coming in and then on spotify i get paid for like the streams so because of going live on tiktok and then getting paid from the spotify uh revenue and youtube it all kind of comes together you know so um i've seen all my other social media platforms like spike and like numbers and my monthly li monthly listeners are going up on spotify so because of that i'm able to make more money from like uh youtube ads um spotify checks and then you know through the live videos so you're seeing it all around that's i have to i have to say this again again and again because this has been the shocker for me since all the artists that i've been working with personally on um on TikTok, i haven't i've yet to see a platform that's been 
this transferable to other platforms. It's like, you're not, you don't even have to work to bring people on other platforms and they'll go, let alone anything you do on top of that intentionally. Is that, so that's your experience? Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild, man. Like, and like I said before, like coming from an artist who literally sent, you know, started rapping at age nine and then started really like touring professionally, um, like five years ago, playing like massive, like uh, festivals, you know, featuring with headlining artists, you know, in front of 10,000 people, 20,000, 30,000 people, I've seen a lot of different things in the industry, a lot of groundwork and really trying to get, like, whenever I get at, like, I played this event called Winter Jam and it was 10,000 people this year in Michigan. And like, it's so hard because when I played it, it wasn't my set. So people wasn't there to see me. I featured on the headlining set, 10,000 people, but then they shouted me out and everything. But then I had to go on Instagram. I had to go through all the hashtags of hashtag Winter Jam. And I had to comment on hundreds of people's posts. Hey, uh, thanks for coming out tonight. We enjoyed you. You know, kind of like in the comments. And mm, then even that conversion, was so, like that conversion was so low. So when I say I've been doing so much groundwork to like when I first started going out to schools or malls and passing CDs out, it's like I've never really seen anything convert as, uh, as quick as like the TikTok is. You know what I mean? And it's like I feel like it's a perfect platform right now why it's so early. Mm -hmm. Where uh, if artists already have a catalog and they've already been doing a, you know what I mean? If they've already been doing a groundwork, this is just something to kind of help expose and elevate that to where like, it'll just help um, expose that versus like, cause for a minute I was kind of jaded. Like, man, I've been doing music all my life. And now this little app come on and it's like giving me everything that I wish I had. And then I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing like 13 year olds, 14 year olds literally make a booming music career out of this. And I'm like, I've been doing this all my life, but I'm like, you know what though? If I didn't have the catalog, if I didn't have all the tour vlogs on YouTube, if I didn't have all of the experience, now when I get booked to go do a show, TikTok goes hand in hand with all of the work I've been doing for like five plus years. You know, it, it kind of ties mm. in together, you know? Mm. Yo, man, that's, I really appreciate that perspective. I think that's going to put things in perspective for a lot of artists in general, because that's, it, it's, it's real. You were prepared to take advantage of the opportunity. Yes, there are some other people who are blowing up, but the way you'll be able to flip it is different than a kid who just started popping off of that alone and didn't have any of that other stuff established, right? They have to go another way to continue to capitalize where all your infrastructure is now just elevating at once. You have a whole tide that's rising, you know what I mean? That's so true. So then that's the way I try to look at it, you know? Is there anything else, all right, just, just in this talk where since last time we've spoken where there's just been like something real interesting that's happened with the platform or something interesting you've noticed, right, as far as how to continue to be successful on the platform or I'll even leave it at this, right, now that you're on another level, right, you're, you're, you've climbed some part of the mountain, can you see something from up where you are that you didn't even understand at the beginning? Yeah, so one of the big things is, like, like really, instead of trying to, like, you have to follow trends in a way, but the thing is that, that set us apart is our unique story. So I did a video about, you know, how I was born in the street wars of Detroit and, like, how my mom uh, was a teenager when she had me. And I was, like, my raw and honest self and, like, how I lost my dad at four. And then I talked about this is why I do music and why it's so impactful. And I did all that in a 15-second video, and that video – hit almost 2 million views. And when I realized that like, man, if I keep telling my story, which sets me apart from all these other guys that's trying to blow up on here, all these other people that's trying to go viral, my, the only thing that sets me apart is my unique story. So like, that's like been a big thing. And I think the more followers you have, the easier it is to grow. So like when I was at a thousand followers, if I got a video that hit 600 views, if I got a video that hit 600 views, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. But now I'm like, man, my, I'm like, I'm trying to hit 10K minimum for each view, each video I post. So it's like knowing that the more you grow, um, the faster you're going to start growing. It's like uh, you start projecting faster. So it might be mm. hard. Um, don't, I see a lot of people getting on there and then they get on there for a week and they, and they don't go viral and they get discouraged. Like you got to be on there. It took me 300 and something videos to finally figure it out. But I've seen, I've helped other people get on there and they post one video boom instant instant fame like overnight and that didn't happen with me i don't feel like i don't feel like i've been lucky ever in my life so like that encouraged me to know that my process is the work until i make it process and um mm. if people stay consistent 
and figure out what works. Like, you know what I mean? Like basically putting out as much content as you can and then you see what works, you know what I mean? And then whatever works, you like double down on that. And that's been like what I've learned. Like the videos where I'm showing people Detroit, like I'll be like in Detroit, yo, like I'm walking up to this abandoned house. This is what it looks like. And then people like, oh my gosh, like thanks for taking us there. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, nah, that's uh, that's dope. And that perspective is 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 humbling, and it's dope to hear you say that and speak that way because there are a lot of people who don't blow up fast enough in their minds. And look, the, and a lot of people who say they don't want to post five videos a day, six videos a day. I'm not saying you have to do any kind of number, but just understand, no matter what you're doing, right? Whether it's learning to play basketball, how to hit a how to hit a ball with a baseball bat, how to be good at math or blow up on TikTok or YouTube, whatever. To figure it out, the more that you do, right, the better you're going to get at it. And the more you do in a short period of time, right, six videos a day is going to help you learn more than one video a day is or one video a week is. That's just the reality, let alone let alone the possibility, right, the numbers and at-bats that it might take to blow up. Just literally doing it more is going to help you get better at it faster. And you got to understand how fast do you want to learn and get good at it? Because there's a window of opportunity. And do you want to take advantage of that window or not? Like, that, that's how I see it. Yeah. And you said to end, like, uh, can you hear me good? Can you hear yeah, me? I hear you. <laughs> okay, yeah. And, and to say that, too, like, the big thing is, like, I don't want to get used to all of the attention that I've been getting because mm. I know, like, this thing could disappear quick and it can go back to, like, what I'm used to. So, like you said, uh, why I have the opportunity, I'm trying to capitalize off of it as much as I can. Um, to throw in another thing, I got Super Phone, which, like, helps convert some of my followers uh, to get their phone numbers to be able to text them. I'm trying to get them to follow me on Instagram, and I'm trying to really collect um, and connect with them as much as I can to where they're going to be – I'm trying to cast my net as much as I can to where if TikTok disappeared tomorrow – I've gained something from it. You know what I mean? So, uh, cause it can disappear tomorrow. And like, I'm trying to get prepared for that. You know what I mean? Just in case that happens. Hey, I love to hear it, man. Spoken like somebody who's been doing this for a minute and understands the value of the opportunity versus, you know, somebody who just started popping and they literally just yeah. started rapping yesterday. So like, that, that, yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I see it, man. I already see the grind and I appreciate the grind. That, that you've been on uh, for so long and thanks for doing this video again and uh, having another talk y'all make sure y'all follow trey little it will be in the description below um it'll be on the video itself t-r-a-y little and of course at brand man sean as always this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.